Topping our newscast this hour, the kennel crisis. The Bakersfield Animal Care Center was close to becoming a no-kill shelter at one time, but that time is long gone. The holiday season is one of the hardest times for adoptions, and shelter leaders say things are only going to get worse unless the community steps up to help. 17's Marco Torres joining us in studio with tonight's top story. Marco. Jim, hundreds of dogs are being killed every month at the Bakersfield Animal Care Center. Now let me say that again. Hundreds of dogs are put to sleep every month at the city's dog pound. It's almost as bad as the county pound. And it isn't just sick or old dogs. Even puppies are being put down. Healthy puppies. The holidays are about to make Kern's horrible dog overpopulation problem even worse. Leaders at the Bakersfield Animal Care Center say they've been killing more than 60 dogs every week just to make room for the influx of new dogs from the streets. But even that's still not enough. On a daily basis, even with all of our efforts of trying to move dogs to rescue or get them adopted, there are more dogs coming in than we can get out. So unfortunately, the only other solution we have is to have to euthanize for space. The center has been struggling to keep numbers down since people went back to work after COVID. The percentage of dogs leaving the shelter alive right now is 60% compared to pre-COVID, which was 80 to 85%, while the county pound has 70% of its dogs leaving alive. That pound puts down about 35 dogs every week. Cats are no exception either. The county pound has put down 25 cats so far this month, while the city pound is limiting its intake to avoid euthanizing. But both pounds are overcrowded. The number of adoptions declines over the holidays, and then in January, people realize they don't want their Christmas puppies. So things are only expected to get worse. The Bakersfield Animal Care Center says a lot of animals have been coming in with behavioral issues because they were raised during COVID, and now they have little to no social skills with other people or animals and have severe separation anxiety. <laughs> More than 100 dogs are picked up from the streets every week. Many owners are giving up their pets because of financial hardship. And backyard breeders and the homeless are overpopulating dogs in Bakersfield. That leads to heartbreaking decisions. Choosing the dogs is definitely a hard process, and it takes a team to make all the decisions, and every dog is thoroughly assessed and monitored. And we do give every dog a chance to be adopted. But with more dogs coming in every day, tough decisions have to be made. Dogs are euthanized every week based on likelihood of being adopted, have black fur or health or behavioral issues are the first ones to go no matter how small even puppies are on the kill list first year ever in our history we've ever had euthanized puppies healthy puppies um, we've had puppies that have been here for three or four months and then once they hit that toddler phase uh, it's almost cruel to have them here they need enrichment stimulation exercise they need to be socialized they need to be in a home basically the shelter becomes their home um, that becomes their routine and it makes it really hard for them to adjust in a home environment Joshua Proctor the animal behaviorist at the Bakersfield Animal Care Center says there's a few solutions, like the city should enforce a breeder license while also limiting the number of litters any animal can have per year. Pets should also be spayed and neutered, and you yourself can come out and save a life. We probably won't see any kind of change uh, at the shelter with euthanasias unless we start seeing less dogs coming in, which means less dogs being bred. Now, if you see a dog on the street, still call animal control. Depending on the adoptability of the dog, it could still get a chance at getting adopted. But don't be surprised if animal control leaves that dog where it is. In studio, Marco Torres, 17 News.